Welcome back to Blockchain Pill. My name is Alex, and today we'll have a look at what happened on the internet computer the previous week. But first, let's have a look at the ICP price today. Currently, the ICP price sits at $4.37. It is down a little bit from last week, but it looks like we are consolidating at those levels and we are ready to take off. Singularity Net announces a huge partnership with the Definity Foundation that aims to advance decentralized AI infrastructure. Singularity Net and Definity have each created critical tools tools and platforms, enabling great decentralization of AI and AGI. Bringing these two tool sets together will be an important step towards creating a decentralized AI network for the benefit of all humanity. And those are the words said by Ben Gortzel, the founder of Singularity Net. And this is a cool piece of trivia. Singularity Net was co-founded by David Hansen, who is the founder of Hansen Robotics, the company that created Sophia. Sophia, if you remember, is the first robot to receive citizenship of a country, and that country was Saudi Arabia. Dominic Williams, the founder of Definity, said that the biggest challenges in integrating AI with blockchain technology are the system's complexity, cost, and compatibility. Thanks to its speed and infinite scalability, the Internet Computer Protocol is the only blockchain that allows LLMs to be hosted and trained on-chain, and there is a host of benefits for doing so. One of of the biggest advantages is that decentralized AI models on ICP are run within smart contracts, which makes the training parameters of the LLMs tamper-proof. This is a huge partnership which speaks volumes about ICP's capabilities. Having AI hosted on-chain will solve a lot of the current problems that AI is facing, problems like hallucinations, lack of privacy, and scalability, just to name a few. OpenChat announced a partnership with ModClub, a content moderation platform native to the Internet Computer Protocol. Users on the OpenChat platform will have the ability to report content. Those reports will be sent to ModClub's pool of moderators for careful review and the content will afterward be removed if it violates any rules. Decentralized moderation for a decentralized chat app is the way to go, so congratulations to both OpenChat and ModClub for this collaboration. In other news, OpenChat announced anonymous mode. Anyone can now browse public communities, channels, and groups without being signed in. This is a great feature for when you want to peek into OpenChat groups without people knowing that you are there. If you haven't done so already, make sure you check our OpenChat community. The link is in the description below. Last week on our podcast, we had Wyatt Benno, the founder of Kinnick, the first fully on-chain Web3 search engine. We talked about on-chain AI, Web3 search engines, and the benefits of decentralization. I really recommend you watch this video. If you haven't already, make sure you check it out. It has been a while since we've had any SNS launch on the Internet Computer Protocol, but the wait is over as three ICP-based projects have announced that they will soon run SNS decentralization swaps. And the first one is Gold DAO. According to their Medium article, this project project aims to digitize and democratize the value of gold through blockchain technology. The team wants to leverage ICP's technology and establish an SNS that would ensure decentralization, transparency, and the project security. GoldDAO aims to revolutionize gold trading and bypass traditional banking systems by leveraging gold-backed NFTs while being 100% secure and audited. The second project to launch an SNS DAO is Trax. Trax is a social marketplace for music powered by the internet computer. It enables enables music artists to retain full ownership of their content and monetization and forge new relationships with their fans whilst leveraging cutting-edge Web3 tooling. I've invited Tom, the founder of Trax, to a podcast to learn more about both the platform and the team and their future plans. The podcast will go live by the end of this week, so keep an eye on that. And finally, the third project to launch an SNS in the near future is Querio which is a Web3 search engine built on the Internet Computer Protocol that enables multi-chain dApp exploration. The list of supported blockchains is continuously growing, currently highlighting Internet Computer, Ethereum, Stellar, Near Protocol, and BNB Chain. According to their forum post, the search engine and front-end are running on-chain, providing data security and integrity, which we all know is very important. You'll find more info about all three projects in the description below, so make sure to check it out. And with that, we're done. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.